Hey folks, Gary here with Paramount, your source for guns, gear, training, and tactics. It's all brought to you by Real World Experience. So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the, one of the most useful rifle accessories I've seen in a really long time. So let's get into it. All right, folks, so you know, one of the questions I get the most when it comes to rifle accessories is, Gary, should I go with a bag rider or a monopod? And I'll tell you, you know, both have their pros and cons, but probably 90, 95% of the time, a bag rider is a better choice in my opinion. Uh, but I will say there are many times when a monopod with its very precise elevation adjustments is a really good option. And it, it definitely helps in many different situations. Well, folks, this is the adjustable bag rider, and it's essentially a monopod and a bag rider in one without compromising on either. As a matter of fact, this is essentially a monopod that is better. It's an improved monopod because it gives you much better stability, has a lot more surface area, but it is fully functional as just a standard bag rider as well. And I've been using this for the last few weeks, folks, and I'll tell you, it is, it is just really nice to have for lots of different situations. And I'll tell you right now, you know, when it comes to a very precise zero, or if you're just doing accuracy testing on your rifle or ammunition or anything like that, this really is a must have. Uh, it, it just really does take a lot of the shooter input out of that. And when it comes to adjusting that elevation, it really does all the work for you. And especially if you're shooting ELR, extreme long range, this is a really good option as well. But Again, I mean, really in any application, anywhere that you could use some precise elevation adjustment, this is going to really help you and stabilize your position and help you make those really fine adjustments. So let's talk a little bit about the different models of these and how they can be used. And folks, these are extremely easy to install. Uh, they're basically two bolts and I'm gonna show you how to install that. But if you're watching on YouTube, I can't even show it on here. Uh, I'll get hit for modifying a weapon. So make sure you go watch. If you wanna watch the install, go watch that on our Rumble channel. And as a matter of fact, if you're watching this on YouTube, if you support the Second Amendment or support the First Amendment, I'd actually ask you to stop watching YouTube. I want you to like and subscribe to this channel so we can continue to promote these videos, but I am slowly moving everything over to Rumble, but I wanna get the message out. Folks, what YouTube does to 2A content creators and what they did when it came to censorship all throughout COVID is just a travesty. For those of us that love and appreciate the Second Amendment, we gotta start moving away from these people that are, quite frankly, enemies to our rights. They really are. So anyways, like, subscribe on here if you're watching this on YouTube, but go watch the rest of this video and all our other content and our much better content that we're gonna continue to put on Rumble as well. We're gonna still gonna put videos here on YouTube because I wanna get this message out and I'm gonna use YouTube as much as I can to get people over to Rumble and to build our Rumble channel over there. But anyways, so let's talk about the different models of these, the different features that these are available with, um, and as well as the rear bags that you're gonna need with this. And by the way, all this stuff is on our website. If you go to ParamountTactical.com, there's also gonna be links down below. You can go check that out and we will take care of you. Now, first of all, these are available for most rifles. Now, what we're currently stocking on our website because of all the different variants that we're gonna talk about and all the different rifles, it is very difficult to keep everyone in stock. But currently the adjustable bag riders that we do keep in stock are for the MPA, BA chassis and ESR chassis. We have those in stock as well as the ABRs that are compatible with the Tika T3s. Now, both of these require no machine or anything like that. There are many other models of rifles where these are basically just plug and play. You just take out some bolts or just bolt them on. But there are a couple of models out there that if you're gonna attach this, you're basically have to do a little bit of machining or drill some holes so that the dowels will have room to travel. If you don't see the model of adjustable bag rider that you're looking for on our website, email us. We'll tell you exactly uh, if it's available, how long that wait is, and if you'll have to do any machining or anything like that on your gun if that is required. Now, there is a couple different variations and models of these. First of all, the most common one, what most people are going to want to have is the standard ELR flat bottom one, which you guys can see here. It's just flat bottom. The other one is the V bottom, and I'll show you the difference between those two. But I mean, obviously, the name kind of says it all. And folks, I want you to know how well these are built. Folks, this right here, this entire, both of these pieces right here, the main portions of these, the actual bag rider, and then this piece up here, that is all machined out of billet aluminum. So it is very nicely built. This is a high quality piece of kit, and it, they're just nice. They, they function flawlessly. They're silent. They're smooth. It is just a really 
well-designed piece of American-made ingenuity right here. I'll tell you right now, I think, again, most people, if you're using a rear bag, a squeeze bag, and things like that for the most of the time, you're gonna wanna go with the flat bottom. I'll talk a little bit more about how the V bottom is used in just a second. The other delineation that I wanna make is the thread pitch on these. We can get these in fine, which you can see right here. This is a fine thread pitch. So again, and the biggest difference here I would say that if you are doing ELR, bench rest shooting, things like that, where you're doing very, very fine elevation changes, that fine thread pitch is gonna be better for you, right? If you're doing competition um, or you want to be able to change the elevation much quicker, you can see this one, this one is in a coarse thread pitch. I think both are precise. Maybe the, the fine is a little bit more precise, but again, for what I do for zeroing purposes and doing accuracy testing and things like that, I think the coarse thread pitch is better for me personally. And that's usually what I'm using it for. Um, you can still get very precise elevation changes with this. It's just gonna get you there a little bit faster. The other thing you'll notice right here, we have these silver dowels. These are the dowels right here on this side right here. And then on this one, you can see, and even on this one, we can see that we have these black dowels. These black dowels are hardened. Those will really take a beating and resist any sort of bending or anything like that. These are still stainless steel. All the metal on this stuff is stainless steel other than the billet aluminum main body pieces. Uh, so it's still extremely durable. Again, the hardened ones are just gonna be more resistant to any sort of you know banging around or anything like that. If you do get the coarse thread pitch, they do come with the hardened dowels already. So just be aware of that. But folks, you can see exactly how you operate this. Now, these protector bags, which are also on our website, and we have a basically a bundle. You can get both of these right off the bat um, on our website, the link down below. But you can see that the actual bag rider fits perfectly in between those two humps. And you can get the leather. We can get the leather one or the canvas. The bottom is leather either way. You can also get these bags in a heavy fill or a standard fill. So uh, even without it being a heavy fill, this is probably, I don't know, three pounds. Um, and it provides a ton of stability. If you want just a little bit more, that heavy fill will obviously help keep that in place just a little bit better uh, during the recoil. For what I do, the standard fill is more than adequate. Uh, and it does a really great job. But again, that bag rider squeezes down in there and it just holds that thing in place. And we have plenty of room right here to change that elevation. Um, and it just does a great job. And I'm telling you for getting a very precise zero for doing any sort of accuracy testing, uh, this is gonna be a, just a little bit more precise than you know a squeeze bag in the rear or anything like that. And again, if you're using a monopod, this is much better than a monopod. Instead of you know a half an inch of surface area that's contacting both basically the gun and the ground, we have a lot of surface area there that's gonna provide a lot of stability for the rifle. So this is much better than a monopod and it's just as good as any other bag rider. Now, if you are using this for a standard bag rider, I do suggest to make sure that you're not messing anything up or banging it around. You close that gap right there just like this. That way you basically have one solid piece of aluminum as a bag rider, and it's just, man, this thing is very robust and very well made. I was very surprised when I first got these to test out just how well made they are. I mean, it is, it, they're sharp. All right, so let's talk about the V-bottom. The V-bottom one, I would probably suggest this for bench rest shooting or ELR. Um, again, where you're, primary, where you're primarily not ever gonna use like a squeeze bag type of thing. Uh, and what this does with these particular ears on this bag, that those V-shaped ears, it just squeezes down in, wedges down in there and provides a very, just a little bit more grip on this thing. Um, I use this for a while. And again, because I mainly shoot off of a squeeze bag, I liked having this one with just a little bit more surface area. Um, I just liked it better for what I do. So you can kind of make a decision which one is for you. If you're mainly shooting off of some sort of rear bag like this, or you'll be using this type of bag, then, you know, or if you already have this type of bag, 
that V bottom is probably the right answer for you. And part of that is definitely gonna come down to personal preference as well. Now for the MPA rifles and many rifles out there, all you're gonna to need to do is remove the stock bag rider, which I'm gonna show you in just a second. You're gonna take those two screws out and you're gonna replace them with these screws right here that comes with the uh, adjustable bag rider. You're also gonna to need to remove the C-clip off of this. And again, I'm getting ready to show you how to do that. Now for Tikas, um, and many others out there that already have a uh, Picatinny rail at the bottom. All we're gonna do is we have a Picatinny mount built into this and you're going to just clamp this on there and tighten down these two screws right here and then you're pretty much ready to go. So uh, that's why those particular rifles are very easy and there's many more out there. And again, just follow the link down below, go to our website. If you don't see your model of rifle listed, Send us an email at services at paramounttactical.com and shoot us an email. Tell us what you're looking for. We'll give you the information that you need, if there's one available for it, if it's compatible, if you'll have to do any machining and any sort of lead time, and of course, price on that. So we'll take care of you. Uh, we'll continue to build out our website so we have everything listed, but it's a little bit of a challenge given different models of these, the different models of rifles available, but we'll take care of you the best that we can. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and show you how to install one of these. It's super easy, but that'll be on a Rumble channel if you're still watching on YouTube. But before we do that, if you like content like this, make sure you like, subscribe, throw a comment down below. That really helps us out. Also, go check out our other social media sites. We do a lot of cool things on there. And every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern time, we have a live Dangerous Liberty podcast. We have special guests on. We talk about guns, gear, politics. Uh, and you get to interact with us and ask questions and add to the conversation throughout the, the whole time. We're building a community here, and that's what this channel and that's what our company is all about. And while Guns and Gear is great, what we're really about is training. So make sure you go to ParamountTactical.com. Go check out our upcoming training schedule. We'd love to have you out. We'd love to meet you in person. Go check out our tactical carbine courses, our handgun courses, long-range courses, and medical courses, all taught by real professionals with experience and professional trainers. That's really what it comes down to as well. So if you're still watching on YouTube, we really appreciate you watching. We're going to go ahead and end it here. But until next time, stay armed, stay ready. We'll talk to you soon. I'm just calling, but I'm prepared.